It is your feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Expresso on SABC3. As you can see, we are all kitted out to get into the groove of working out, right? Yeah, we've ticked off a pile of books, water bottles, a broomstick, a towel, and of course, a chair last week. And it's safe to say our makeshift gym at home is coming along quite nicely, if I do say so myself. So, obviously, with gym being off limits due to COVID 19, this week we'll be adding a few more household items to our homemade gym with items that you obviously already have of your own. And today, we'll be showing you how a backpack and a little space can assist in burning fat and building muscle. A backpack workout is a simple and an awesome way to target all the major muscle groups and load your backpack with a well-sealed water bottle or any heavy books that you have at home to make this workout extra power. Claire Adams, you've got a beautiful backpack on there already, I, I do. see. Can you see the print? <laughs> it matches my outfit. Oh my gosh. So delicious <laughs> on this Monday morning. And of course, I know everybody had a little bit of a binge on the weekend. Don't worry, Espresso's here. That's why I'm here to keep you all in check. We've got an incredible fat burning session planned for you today. Obviously, the reason why we're wearing the backpack, this is inspired from a lot of military style training structures, also from the Navy. And of course, wearing a heavy backpack mm -hmm. is going to work our core, which is that muscle we're always wanting to activate and of course anybody else that's struggling with some lower back issues it kind of just strengthens the lower and mid region of the back by working on those stabilizers and that extra weight is going to cause more calorie burning sensations okay all right cool. so as we do in the house in a homemade gym we've got a beautiful four exercise superset complex you go through each exercise complete that round and you do four rounds in total each exercise we're going to be doing 10 reps of each okay we're going to be starting with something really cool this is called a pulse lunge so, Kushle, what you're going to do is make sure your feet are nice and wide apart. We're okay. going into a lunge, making sure that when we go down, our knee doesn't go over our toe. We're making sure that the entire core of our body goes straight down towards the mat, making sure that our knee just almost touches but doesn't go to the ground and you're going straight back up. All and right. we're going to pulse these movements. So we're getting 10 reps in total. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're pulsing the movement, it causes an increase in the metabolic rate. We get a good burn. So we're burning that fat from the weekend that we, I hope, didn't pile on too much. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we're getting a good stimulation in the glute and the core is working as well. So we're going to yeah. go down for 10. You want to show them how it's let's done? Let's go for it. All right, let's go. One. Also, I just want to say yeah. that for a lot of people who may be struggling with, you know, the home workout exercises that we show on the show don't stop continue you know yeah. because just like me i struggle with a whole lot of them but at the end of the day it's not about what you're doing now you just need to get started oh. Ryle, i'm feeling it like <laughs> i have a conversation this <laughs> ah, look at like me. i said i'm feeling that burn so guys 10 reps in total obviously 10 on the one side and then you'll switch to the other leg All and right. we'll go down for 10 you should definitely feel a good burn by then yes. let's go for five just I to do. see that feeling let's go for one, one. Beautiful stuff, keeping Two. that core nice and engaged. And of course, Three. everybody at home, make sure that Four. if you are joining these workouts, every five. little bit counts. So yes. every, every day, as long as it's 10 minutes or five minutes of working out, anything is going to assist you. Every day you become that hero. It adds up to the greater goal at the end of the week. Exercise number two, we're moving down to the core. We're getting a good stimulation of the upper body. We're going into a high plank position. So this, of course, is already working that core a little bit extra. We're making sure that our back is not sinking in. So okay. we're not hurting the lower back. Keeping nice and high. And in this plank position, I'm sure you can already feel the shoulders working are quite nicely. Are my feet far apart the or feet, are they close? The further apart your feet are, the easier you're gonna, are, are gonna be able to balance. Okay. So you guys at home, you wanna challenge yourselves, get your feet a lot closer. That'll increase the stability that your body needs to keep you up. If for, how long, <laughs> for how long are we doing so this So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do 10 minutes. <laughs> I thought that's that was even, part of the exercise. That's just the beginning. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what we're gonna be doing is, in the high plank position, what we're going to do is raise your leg into the sky, squeezing that glute, and then you bring it straight back down, and you repeat on the other side. You got okay. that? Yes. All right, lift it up as high as you can. Beautiful squeezing of the glute, and then straight back down. Other side, let's lift up for one. Lovely, and then straight back down. You guys want an extra challenge at home. You can squeeze a little push-up in between. So that's a push-up. And then we're going for a little raise of the leg. <laughs> Another push-up. And then we're going straight for the raise of that leg. Obviously, you guys at home, if you are struggling with getting into the high plank, more than welcome to lower the plank oh, yes, position. The modified this version. is a modified version that's a lot easier. Obviously, you're still going to be using the core, but making sure that we're lifting up the rear leg kick and getting those glutes stimulated. Yes. Beautiful form. I love your work. <laughs> All right, next exercise. So that's two 
of three exercises that we've been doing now. Okay. The third exercise, we're gonna hit those obliques. We're going for a side crunch, a standing side crunch of the oblique, so we can take our bags off of our back. All right. All right, get the handle of the bag. Doesn't matter what handle you use on the bag, as long as you've got a good grip, so we can hand handle anything. And opposite hand's gonna be right on top of your head. All right, so starting in this position, you're gonna lean away from the bag, and then bring your body straight back up, into the center again, and you'll feel a good stimulation of those obliques. Those are those Levi line muscles that everybody yes. loves looking at. The V lines. At. Those V lines, so that's I the one. So I can wear my low rise jeans. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly okay. it. <laughs> and then obviously, if you want an extra little challenge, we're gonna get a little bicep curl in between, squeezing those biceps, bring it back down, and then tilt over to the side with a good squeeze, and then straight back up again. Another bicep curl, that's two reps, and then another squeeze. Perfect form, I love it. Another one, good squeeze of that bicep, making sure that the elbow doesn't move too much away from your body. So keep it nice and close, oh, tucked into your body. That's yeah. gonna get a good isolation of the peak of that bicep. If you guys want to as well, a little trick for you at home, change your grip on your bicep uh, curl, and what you'll do is you'll hit both heads of the bicep. So there's actually two muscles hiding inside of you. So this will get the peak of that bicep, and if I change my grip and just bring my forearm and my palm to face the inside of my body, I'm gonna get a good, um, nice width in the bicep. So that gives me good size and volume. So there's a little tip at home for anybody that's taking these workouts just that extra level. Make sure you change your grip on your bicep curl and that'll give you extra stimulation on both of the heads of the bicep. Bicep, by two muscles, tick of the day. <laughs> all right, so finish all this exercise. Two more reps, nice bicep curl, a nice lean over to the side with a good squeeze of their core. And then one more and then a lovely little oh, squeeze of that core again. I'm already feeling mine, I haven't even done 10 reps. You at home, 10 reps on each side. We're going over to our fourth exercise. It's the last one of the superset complex. You're gonna have your bag in front of you. Okay. Remember last week we were talking about getting into that good squat position. So our knees don't go over our toes, hinging at the hip, making sure those glutes go nice and far back. So what you're gonna do is repeat the same thing. Your legs are nice and wide on this one. Get your bag in the middle of your legs. Keeping your lower back nice and straight now, what we're gonna do is, first attempt is to lift the bag up while squeezing our glutes forward. Brilliant, all right, that's the first half of the exercise. Second half, we're gonna do a high pull. That's gonna get our shoulders, get those delts stimulated, and lifting it up as high as you can. One, two, and then lowering all the way straight back down to our restart position, making sure that our quads are nice and engaged, glutes activated, we're lifting up nice and high, high pull, and then straight back down. So that's a deadlift high pull complex. We're gonna go for seven more reps. Three, that's four. Now you're feeling that burn, getting those glutes activated. Five, I think that was five, six, lovely. Eight. Seven, eight, eight. Nine. nine. Come on now. And 10, Woo! beautiful form goal. That is incredible stuff. You guys at home, make sure four rounds of each, 10 reps in total. What we've got planned for you next, we're heading over to the kitchen for the perfect post-workout treat. We'll see you there. <laughs>